TV Lunchtime News with Lucrezia Millerini. Good afternoon. Davina McCall says she's in good spirits after revealing that she is having surgery to remove what she called a benign brain tumour. In an announcement posted on social media by her partner, the presenter and campaigner said the growth, called a colloid cyst, was discovered following a health scan a few months ago and that the chances of getting one were three in a million. She urged her fans not to worry too much, saying she had all the faith in the world in her surgeon and his his team. With more, here's Faye Barker. Oh, our science correspondent Martin S. Dew is here. Well, Divi Next is lunchtime. The Chancellor was dealt a disappointing blow from the latest GDP figures. They showed sluggish growth in the UK economy in the three months from July to September. GDP rose by just 0.1%, even less than experts had been expecting. And Rachel Reeves had to admit she was not satisfied by the slowdown, which some have blamed on her budget, claiming companies held back on spending decisions until she delivered the outlook late last month month. And more from our political correspondent, Col Dinham. Our economics editor, Joel Hills, joins some other news now, more than 160 people have died and 9 million are displaced in the Philippines as Typhoon Usagi hit the north here, the father of Sara Sharif, the 10-year-old girl found dead at her family home in Woking, has faced further examination in court. He was asked why it took until his seventh day in the witness box to tell jurors he took full responsibility for her death. He, his wife and brother continue to deny Sara's murder. Our reporter, Charlie Frost, is at... So ahead on the lunchtime news. First, the National Grid has admitted it doesn't have enough engineers to carry out vital upgrades to the electricity network. There are plans to build dozens of new pylons crisscrossing parts of the country in order to carry new renewable energy. But that's proved controversial because of the upheaval it would bring to some communities. And some engineering experts warn that the workforce simply isn't there. Our consumer editor Chris Choi reports from East Anglia. The High Court has been told Prince Harry remains one of two claimants pursuing legal action against the publisher of The Sun over alleged unlawful information gathering. Unbelievable. That's it. Charlie's back at 6.30, but from everyone on the lunchtime team, bye-bye. Have a great afternoon.